welcome. Today I'm going to be making for you some cream of wheat parasad and I'm going to call out a list of ingredients but you'll find the measurements with the ingredients down below in the description box. I have some whole or stay fresh milk, cream of wheat, raisins, sugar, fresh ginger, ground lychee or cardamom powder and some ghee and I like using this brand of ghee. It is the best ghee to use. So if you can get this then use this one. So now let's get started on putting this together. I'm going to start by putting my milk to heat up on medium low heat and to the milk I'm going to add in the sugar. Now for this recipe you could use as much or as little sugar as you want. Give it a mix to help that sugar dissolve and you're going to leave it, let it stay warm on your back burner. In the meantime, you're going to put up a pot to heat up and add your ghee to your pot. Just allow that ghee to melt. To your melted ghee, add in your cream of wheat. And I do have another parasad recipe on my channel where it's mixed with cream of wheat and flour. So if you wanted, you can check out that recipe also. And I make my parasad the same way. You're not going to see anything different from this recipe and that recipe. It's made the same way, just the, the difference is one would be cream of wheat and one would be mixed with flour. So it's totally up to you what you want or how you like your parasad. Now when you're making your parasad, you need to leave it to patch on very low heat. And this looks like it needs some more ghee. So I'm going to add some more ghee to this. I'm going to mix this in. Now you're going to find that it's looking like wet sand and the consistency from when you're making flour parasad is totally different. And that's okay. It has enough ghee. It does not need any more to be like watery or wet so all you do is keep turning this in your pot and patching it on low you do not want to put this on high and you want to patch it for at least 15 minutes because you want that cream of wheat to cook so i'm going to continue patching my cream of wheat and i'll see you back after 15 minutes so my cream of wheat is almost ready and what i'm going to do is add in my cardamom powder or elaichi powder and give this a mix and I'm also going to add in my ginger and my raisins I'm going to take take off the burner that, that my milk is on because the milk is already nice and warm just mix this in for about a minute Now we're going to get ready to throw in our milk. I'm going to add the milk a little at a time. Oh, and you want to put up your heat, raise your heat on this to high because you'll want that milk to be absorbed into the parasad. If your heat isn't on high, it's not going to absorb and it's going to come out like porridge. So you see how fast it absorbed that milk that's what you want so I'm gonna put some more milk And this seems like you can take some more milk. Now, if your parasite is not absorbing your milk quickly, you do not want to put all of the milk. You want to stop when you think that it has absorbed as much as it could. So 
so I think mine can take all of the milk so I'm gonna put the rest in and that was two cups of milk so as I said you have to look at your cream of wheat and you have to know how much milk to put if it's not absorbing it do not put all you put a little at a time and once it has been absorbed into the cream of wheat then your parasad is ready to use so that's it mine's is finished so here you have it my cream of wheat recipe this recipe is so delicious it's so simple and you would get the best results you see how fluffy my parasad looks it's really really delicious and as I said, you can put as much or as little sugar as you want in this recipe. And the parasad, the cream of wheat that I use for this parasad is called farina. And there's also one called suji. So whichever one you can get, these are the best. And sometimes you can get them loose in Trinidad. As you can see, this is what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's dish. If you want to make it and you want to double or triple the recipe, you can do that also. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thank you all for watching. And I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!